All right, this video, we're gonna go over final sanding for your picture frames. So previous step, we did wood filler. So now what we're gonna do is go through and sand off any wood filler and glue that maybe has squeezed out. So you're still gonna keep your sandpaper here. We're using your sandpaper that we had one last time, your half sheet here. So make sure you have that, okay? Uh, so we're gonna be going back in the shop and working on this similar process as the last one, but we have to be careful on the corners and we'll point that out. So your picture frame should be drying in the shop right now. Uh, should have dried, but it should be back in the shop on a rack waiting for the wood filler to dry. So once you've got this and you're ready to go with your hair and jewelry and clothes and all that, we're gonna ready to go. So get on up. And to go get your safety glasses and again check with the teacher to make sure that they are ready. Heading in the back for the shop. Grab your glasses, top three shelves if you do not wear glasses. If you do wear glasses, the bottom two shelves. You're gonna put those on right away. And then again, make sure you close the cabinet. Then you're gonna come back to the shop again, last check with the teacher. Make sure they're good. Now there will be equipment going when you are doing your work, as I just dropped my sandpaper. You're gonna come over and get hearing protection again, as there will be other people working. You have your hearing protection. Close the door and put that on right away. You're gonna come over to the rack and find your picture frame. Mine was up top now. Okay, so you got your picture frame. All of the wood filler is dry now. So it's a lot harder to see initially. Okay, we're gonna come over to the big table. You will need one of the sanding blocks for this. Uh, just simply because we have to get close to these angles. So we talked before about sanding with the grain. When you get into these corners, you can't go across this way, otherwise you're gonna ruin that wood. So you have to kind of get at an angle and using the sanding blocks is gonna help with that immensely. We're gonna start by hand first of just sanding all of our nail holes. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda take a corner of your paper here and just go along with it. Along the grain, sanding that nail hole down. You can see now, you can hardly see the thing right there. It almost doesn't exist, okay? Come over to the next one. Same thing. If you did it right, all that little extra cloud of filler just disappears. Now you will get messy with this one. So we'll make sure you let the teacher know and we'll get you cleaned off before you're done. But again, working these corners with the wood filler, you can see that little shadow there, okay? That little shadow is what we're trying to get rid of. We're just working with the grain. Okay, and now this one I had a little bit here in the corner. So I'm gonna work with the grain this way, then I'm gonna come back and do this hole and then work the grain that way. So again, sanding off the little filler. This one still has a little shadow of filler, so I gotta put a little more pressure on it. We got rid of most of it there. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so then going at this corner from this way to kind of take out some of that spot there. And we got a couple more corners to go here for filler. One more nail holes, sorry. And again, depending on how much filler you put on it, depends on how much sanding you have to do to clean it. And again, put some moderately hard pressure on it. Moving pretty quick. You'll get that off in no time. Uh, 
There. I think this is our last hole right here. Cut. So, when we do these corners, uh, we gotta be really careful. We're gonna keep it flat on the table for that. And we're gonna take the sanding block and again, wrap our paper around that so we have a definite edge. Because what we wanna do is take that edge and kind of match the angle that's on your wood. We're gonna go right up to that angle this way. Then we're gonna change directions and go right up to the angle this way so that we can make sure we get all the filler out there but then also not cross grain pattern. So I've got my paper wrapped up nice and tight on my block. So I'm gonna get my block matching the angle and then just kinda the last inch or so right up to the line, stopping right up to the line. Dust that off, I actually got that pretty good. So I'm gonna turn it so I can see this way a little bit better. Same thing with the grain. I'm moving with the grain, but my block is at an angle. And if I did it right, you should see that I got all that filler there. I got a little bit up here I need to do still, which is tricky because it's on the curve. So I'm gonna very lightly Do that. I need to come back from this side along the curve. There. And I go around, hit these other corners now where I have some material. I suppose you could do this on hand as well. Easier for the camera angle, but probably safer bet if you do it on the table. Okay, so again. Moving with the grain, with your block at an angle. Going right up to the corner. Keeping your paper flat is the hardest part. And then the same thing. Okay, start with light pressure. And then you can move on to a little bit heavier pressure if necessary. But you don't want to push super hard and then go too far and cross sand your wood. If you do that, you could end up putting some really bad scratches in there. Okay, we got that pretty good. This one's done. This one we had just a little bit there in the inside part. So again, with the grain, but your block at an angle. That one's good. And then this one here at the corner. This is where we had the high-low, so. We're gonna really try to blend it, not completely take out all the filler. Same process again. With the grain block at an angle. Okay, looks like we got that pretty good. Just a little bit more from this side. Okay, and do another check around there. So I got some on the back here, some dried on clumps to, for my paper towel. So we're just same thing going with the grain. Sand that off real quick. Just do a double check around to make sure there's no excess anything. So I got a little bit of filler here. I just got on the back. And you can see there's a little bit of glue squeeze out, this slightly brown color. Any glue squeeze out you see, you need to try to sand off the same way. That glue will prevent, especially if you wanna stain it, 
the glue will prevent steam from sticking to your wood because the steam goes into the pores of the wood but the glue fills those pores so you want to sand that off at least to the surface so it gives you a little bit better stain adherence and it doesn't look as splotchy either so again just kind of rocking that edge just like before in the corners sanding that down so there's little glue as possible looks like i got a little touch of something either some filler or glue there i think that's still that filler from before sanding that down with a little more pressure making sure i don't go past the corner with my scratches okay so looking around again getting everything make sure we got everything sanded down there's no other marks there's no other little pieces of filler stuck to it anywhere else, okay? Once that's done, you're going to bring that to your teacher and they're going to clean that off for you. Use the air hose and dust that off for you. And then you're gonna go and watch the um, stain or paint video, depending up to you. So from this stage, you have to either choose to stain it, which we have the sample board in the front of the classroom with the different colors of stain available or you can paint it. We have a black and a white here in the shop, but if you have another color of paint at home that you wanna paint it with, you can bring that in and paint with that as well. Uh, so you gotta to talk to your teacher then about what materials you wanna to use to finish this, stain or paint. The directions are slightly different for both, okay? So that'll be the next video. Make sure you get this cleaned up by your teacher. Your table here then, we're going to Take your paper towel, we're gonna throw that away. And then you're going to dust off the workspace here at the dustpan and broom. Uh, your sandpaper, we're gonna keep a hold of that just in case something happens. Shake that off in the can as well. Okay. Sometimes you might need to go back and retouch up something so you need your sandpaper to clean it off. And then you're going to take your hair protection back over here. And you're going to put your hearing protection back in the cabinet, okay? And then you're gonna come back out to the classroom. And you're going to take your safety glasses and put them back into the cabinet by the bows. Close that gently. You're gonna come back to your spot. Those at your table, watch the next video. Work safe, work clean, have fun.